Welcome to Hip Mojo Show 19. I'm your host, Ashkan Karbasfushan. And I'm CT Moore. And um, there's a brick on the table. There's a brick on the table. So I'm back from Digiday, the Digiday Video Awards. Oh, you won? No, no, we did not win. We were going up. Watch Mojo was going up against CBS. CBS is TV.com and HBO. And damn you, CBS. But they won. But we still managed to get this brick. Now, I'm wondering, how the hell do they engrave our name and all that nice little information in there? My money's on lasers. So is if CBS won, did they get a cinder block? They got, I think, a slightly <laughs> bigger, <laughs> bigger piece brick. of brick, basically, yeah. It was good. What well, was nice was, like, the um, super-duper senior VP of CBS was actually there to accept it. And, you know, I was expecting some junior intern. But that was pretty good. <laughs> no, no disrespect to Digiday. Anyway, so we didn't win. Congratulations to CBS. I could say we were second or third. Let's assume HBO is second or we were second. Who cares? All right, let's get started. Earlier on in the season, in the calendar year, we right. started to talk about this Top company. Companies yeah, like each year there's one company that stands out. I believe when we started the list, let's say a couple of years ago, we went back all the way to 1994. That year was AOL. We're not going to tell you who won each year after that, thankfully. And I believe the runner up is 2010's Groupon we picked. So now, on today's show, we're not going to pick the winner. We'll pick the winner on next week's show. But what we want to do is at least come up with maybe three, four finalists and okay. basically then say, you know, we'll discuss it, do mid more research, ask some other experts, ask some of our viewers. But I'm going to just run down some random companies in no order. And what I want is like Napoleon, not Napoleon style, Julius Caesar style, thumbs up or thumbs down, should they make it onto, let's say, the last three or five, okay? All right, let's do it. So let's start off with the, the mother of all internet companies, Google. Um, I'm gonna say this year anyway, thumbs down. They haven't really done anything particularly. Even Google sick. Plus for once, I mean. Or... Jesus, does anyone use it? Like, <laughs> no. Okay. It, it, it was like Google Buzz or Google Wave. It's like, great, you launched something else that's not gonna catch on. Um, so I'm gonna say thumbs down, you? Okay, I'm gonna say Google, uh, the search company, no, you're right. They didn't do anything to woo us. I do think that YouTube this year did a lot. If you think about what YouTube did with forking out anywhere from 100 to 250 million dollars, they sort of are becoming the only company that is gonna be like the, the network, not network as an ad network, but I'm talking the way ABC, NBC, CBS go out and do these upfronts. Right. The way YouTube now is signing checks, doing these upfronts, they're basically, forget scorching the earth, they're nuking the galaxy and basically becoming the only player that matters in video. I'm not saying a, a fantastic ad network like Tremor Media is, is not worthy, of course they are. I'm not saying that you know the, the leading distribution aggregator like let's say Five Men or whoever's in that space isn't worthy, of course they are. But I think YouTube deserves it, but at the same time, is that enough to make them in the last top three? Probably not, so they get a pass. Next company, um, Apple. Sadly, Steve Jobs passes on, but another amazing year for Apple. Do you put Apple on the list of two or three? Um, I'm tempted to <clears throat> say yes, just because this, is, this might be the last year that Apple ever you know, can shortlist themselves for, for company of the year. Uh, overall, they, they had a good year. I don't think they did anything new or revolutionary. They just kind of got better at what they were already doing. And like you said, Steve Jobs passed, which is sad. Uh, not a reason to, to win an award, uh, unless you want a brick. But um, yeah, no. Yes. Yeah, sure. Why not? You put Apple, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say Apple did not have the, the, the... It was not a standout year for Apple because the expectations are so high. Um, put it to you this way. If you're going to pick three companies that really emerged or broke from the pack in their respective, as much as Sirius Great and all that, I'm not sure Apple would be one of those three, apart from the sentimental factor that you sort of you know, want the last year Steve Jobs was running the company, oh, wow, they were, let's say, company of the year. I, you know, if, if it's five companies as finalists, I'd say maybe, yeah, and maybe once you dig in deeper into the financials. I mean, listen, they're sitting on, like, what, $80 billion of, you know what? Just for that reason, eighty billion dollars of cash that they're sitting on, I think Apple's a yes. If we get top five, maybe even top three, and, and you know they really, really are crushing it. If you take a look at there was Apple. also iCloud. That That's that true. I think we won't That's realize true. is how important until That's next true. year. But it okay, was a well, good well, this one. is why we're having this show. It's to debate it in front of you. This is the way actually. I guess we would realistically be debating it. So fair enough. Okay, in Apple in front of an audience. In front, yeah, <laughs> in front of. Okay, so. Unlike some competitions where it's not as above the board. I'm just kidding, of course. Please, Digiday, don't not invite me to future events. OK, so Apple, definitely a yes. OK, next up, Facebook. Ooh, um, it's kind of hard to say no. Uh, I wasn't particularly thrilled with anything they did, but they, they keep growing. 
Uh, they keep buying stuff, so uh, I'm gonna say yes. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. I don't really see how Facebook would not be listed like in like top three company of the years. I mean, they just had a dom. What are they at? Like 7.2 billion users or 700 million users? 800 it's million. 800 million. I mean, say what you want about Mark Zuckerberg, they deserve to be on that list. You know, it's interesting though. If you take their, you know, they always say, talk about Facebook being the second or third largest country in the world. Blah blah blah. If you actually take the number of rev uh, of users and. Uh, Sorry, if you take their revenue and divide it by the number of users, their per capita GDP is like in the shits. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's social networking, right? There's no real revenue in there. Um, okay, next up, uh, Twitter. Does Twitter deserve to be a top three or top five companies shortlisted? Um, okay, I, I, Twitter's just on my bad side for some reason. It's like, please invent a revenue strategy already. Um, that being said, but they, we said that about Facebook two years ago. They're going to do four billion, maybe up to six billion this year. Still, I don't know. I'm not buying it. Um, I'm going to say yes, though, because they continue to glow, grow in popularity and usership. And I think, for God's sake, someone needs to buy them already. The thing that's funny about Twitter is this is the year that Twitter went from my, let's say, no side to the yes side. Like, I really, really got Twitter a lot more, maybe because I travel so much and I just see them as a dominant time, whole, sync, whatever on mobile. I don't spend that much time on Facebook. There's a reason why some of my friends from high school, we never kept in touch. Maybe right. they didn't like me, maybe I didn't like them. Twitter, I like the fact that it's just a newsroom. It is the newsroom of the 21st century. Everybody's on Twitter. That's the other thing too. I'm not talking about individual jokes, just celebrities use it. It's also has replaced RSS. And I also think if you take a look at like time pick the, the protester as the person of the year, I do think if you look at the Occupy movement, and I think if you take a look at the Arab Spring, Summer, Fall, whatever, right. Russia, I just think Twitter, yeah, Facebook played a That's big part. That's almost like Twitter. saying users are company of the year instead of Twitter, though. Twitter was just a tool they decided to use. Twitter didn't like, I don't think they actively engaged it. Then there's also that thing Silicon Valley Insider uh, once published something that half of all Twitter users only follow one or two people. So. There's, there's a thousand and one weaknesses with Twitter, we get that, but I just think if you're gonna pick the top five or top three companies of the year to go on to win something, I could see Twitter being on the list, but we'll, we'll see. Amazon. You know, what I love about Amazon is that um, if you don't live and breathe the tech space, you're probably not aware of just how much they have their finger in. Um, these people like own you and me and Ash. Uh, so I'm gonna say absolutely. Uh, everything from like, yeah, I don't even know where to begin, but... Yeah, Amazon to me is a no-brainer. I think with Fire, what you said about iCloud, uh, I think the Kindle Fire, we could look back at this year as saying... A another reason, and now this is like sort of the flip side of what we said about Steve Jobs, before Steve Jobs emerged as the, you know, not the Sven Galley, that's somewhat negative connotation, but before Steve Jobs emerged as like the talisman of the tech world, Steve Jobs was that guy. He was the guy that we expected would become like the go-to, what's the future of tech? So I just think this is the year where you are seeing the Steve Jobification of Jeff Bezos, where he's starting to say, I want to own the world. I want to own everything. I want to put my finger in your you know, butt cheek. I want to know God. what you're doing. I, I want to, it's my world. You happen to live in it, which was basically Steve Jobs. They're disrupting publishing. They're disrupting media. Yeah. They're... And I think they are starting. I don't think they have a clue as to what it will require to succeed in the advertising world. But the fact that they have ambitions to get into the advertising world, to be, uh, to be watched. Okay, let's sort of bundle, we could break them up, but let's right. look at some of the companies that went public this year. Zynga, Groupon, well Zynga any day, so to speak, Groupon, LinkedIn. There were a few others, but these companies, were there any that really, there was also Demand Media. Okay, so let's, let's put it like that. Demand Media, Zynga, Groupon, LinkedIn, all the guys who went IPO. Okay, um, LinkedIn, no. Even though, you know, I think they're a great company and I like what they do, they just haven't done anything that's of the year worthy. Uh, Groupon, well, they were the pick last year. Um, they could be repeat. This year we've said, that before we they always could kept be repeat. What I would like to see is if next year they actually, you know, bring their stock back up because I think that would make them more worthy of being company of the year. Their stock did slide a lot. Um, Zynga and Demand Media, um, I would say no. They're just not uh, sexy or media darling enough material for a list like this. I was, I won't say where I was, but I was somewhere where I had the prospectus of the Zynga IPO. And uh, I was waiting for a few minutes to go into my meeting and I was reading this. And I was like, this is such an intense company. And VentureBeat wrote like a 22 pager on Zynga. I'm gonna say Zynga this year is gonna IPO at the tail end of the year. 
But once you see how fast this company grew, I think it's going to be, they're on the fence. I think I need to go back to that perspective a bit more. Groupon, I agree, is a no. I think like last year they had this massive thing. This year was almost like the, the hangover. The man media, I'm going to say no. I think the man media has a lot of potential, but they, you look at the stock price and you realize that you know, the market has turned on, on what the sentiment is there. Um, it's funny, I would put LinkedIn as a maybe, maybe even a yes after I look at a bit more at their financials. So for me, Zynga is a, is a yes. Demand media is a no, Groupon's a no, and LinkedIn's a yes or no. Uh, a few others before we move on to the next segment. And there might be other companies that this week people will email us saying, oh my god, I can't believe you forgot this company or that company, but this was just to give you a primer. Last company before we move on, would you put Foursquare or Yelp, like the local guys, let's say? Um, no. I, I, I think the bigger guys are, are getting really effective at killing them. I thought Foursquare was dead in the water the second Facebook launched Places. Then they decided we're not going to push Places so hard, but then what did they do? They went and bought the Gowalla staff. Um, so Does that matter? They bought the Hot Potato staff or whoever before. I mean, it's these are acquisitions. Are kidding me? It absolutely matters. It matters. Like, especially for check-ins. is like If I want to check in on Foursquare, I had to actually go set up another account. I already have a Facebook account. It's on my phone. I can check in all over the place. Also, you can lie about where you're checking in on Foursquare. I don't think you can really do it on Facebook. Um, so the local guys, not so much. Again, with Yelp, uh, when Facebook Places launched, um, I pretty much said, Yelp, uh, they have a shelf life. They should sell out or go home. All right, if you have feedback, let us know. Uh, you could tweet us at HipMojo to let us know if we missed anyone. We're going to discuss it more. We'll research and we'll pick the company of the year next week. Uh, we're going to take a short break and come back uh, to talk about, you know, basically disruption in media and publishing. Artists going direct to the clients and the end users. We'll be right back. Thank you.